All right, so I'm going to go in this tutorial. I'm going to go about teaching you or showing you how to install Raylib or get Raylib to work with code blocks. And let's go ahead and get dirty. All right, so we'll go ahead and start a folder on the desktop. I'll call it Raylib. Raylib setup. We're going to go on our code blocks. We're going to launch it. And you can click here to create a new project, or you can go up to File, New, New Project, Console Application. Click Next. We want this in C. We want this in C. Not C. We want this in C. Click next, Raylib, setup, you put an underscore, and you want to locate that folder on your desktop. And there it is, and you want it inside the Raylib setup folder. Okay, so you want to click on Raylib setup folder on your desktop. You want to select folder click next and click finish you're going to open up everything and open up your C file now when it comes to Raylib you're going to need a 64-bit compiler uh, I discussed that in this video right here this website where you can download TMGCC because that's the compiler I'm using and you want to download the 32-bit Okay, but for Rayleigh, you want a 64-bit compiler. Okay, so I discussed that in this video right here, which is Chapter 2, Number 2, First Blue Vertex. I'll include the link to this video in the description down here. And you just click down here, and you're going to see a link that takes you directly to that video. And it will explain to you how to install TDMGCC for Raylib you want 64 bit not 32 you want 64 bit okay now what we need to do is we need to go to Raylib and we need to download Raylib okay so we go to cheat sheet and we go to github.com and I'll middle click on that and it's going to take me to a github you want to click code and you want to click download zip it's downloading here I already have it so I'm not going to and I already installed it so I'm not going to install it and what you want to do you want to install this to somewhere on your C drive This is a website for TDM GCC. This is the 64 bit. This is 32. You want to download 64 bit for Raylib. It's a lot of stuff you're going to have to take in. Okay. So let's go ahead and locate our Raylib. in our downloads folder and I'll go ahead and extract here and I'll go ahead and delete and in there somewhere you're going to see source you're going to see source, you're going to see projects, parser, logo and everything you want to take that source folder and we're going to put it inside our Raylib include okay well first what we'll do we'll go ahead and set up our ink and lib folders
you want to take that source and put it in your include. But first, before we do that, we want to go ahead and set up our include notes. So we're going to right click. We're going to right click up on our, uh, our, our uh, project name here. Build options. Raylib setup. Search directories. Compiler tab. We want to add our include. Click OK. We want to do the same thing for our linker and add our lib to our linker. Now, let's go back to our compiler settings, go to defines, and we want to put platform desktop. We're going to go in our linker settings, and in the other linker options, we want to type L. Negative L GDI 32 and negative L WI N is in Nicholas, M is in Michael, M is in Michael. That's L Win MM. We're going to have those two there. And we're going to click OK. OK, so there's a script that we need to test Raylib. You get that from the Raylib website. You click on the Raylib and we'll go to examples, click on core, we'll click on basic window. You can go ahead and copy this. And we'll paste it here. We'll go ahead and run a rebuild and find out what it's asking for. It's asking for Raylib. Okay, so what we need to do we need to go and find our include and inside of your download your Raylib master folder you will find the source folder you will drag it in here you should have a Raylib folder you know a Raylib file in here. this is a Raylib.h file let's run, a, let's run a build or a test still asking for it so go into source, let's grab the Raylib and copy that. Let's go back and paste it. Let's try it again. Okay, so now it's asking for a new window. So okay, so there's something else that we need to do. What we need to do is we need to get the files that's associated with running. Things. We'll go into the ink and lib, include, source, we'll click type up here, and we'll go ahead and select our audio, hold shift, and select utils, and that's going to select all these. We'll go down here and we'll hold control and click Raylib. We might not need Raylib. Let me try it without Raylib. And we'll go ahead and click open. go ahead and rebuild. Now we need GLFW3 and that's what it's asking for now. Okay, so we'll go ahead and close this and we'll find our GLFW3. In our Raylib master folder.
Oh, it should be in the source folder then. Yep, there it is. Okay, so we'll copy that. Then we'll copy our GLFW here. And we'll go ahead and try it again. You still ask for it's not detected. Let's go and try and fix this issue. Ah, I messed up. We'll go ahead and delete this. Go on our source. External. GLFW include copy we'll go back and we'll paste include here now we're going to try and run it again works congrats you created your first window Okay, let's step it up a notch. Let's go and find something cooler. A little bit better to look at. Let's go on our website, Raylib. And we'll go to Core. And let's say we want this to run with our code blocks. That's what you're going to need to script. copy and we will paste it here no not there we're going to paste it in our main dot C we'll give it a run What's it asking for? It's asking for our camera. Okay. So let's go and find the R camera file. Source. There's an R camera file there. We're going to paste it here. Now we're going to try and run. Give it a rebuild. And there you go. And this is the power of code blocks. And so we'll go ahead and close that. Um, you might come across some examples where they're asked for our lights. But it's not there. Our lights, I didn't see our lights come with uh, the Raylib. So what you need to do, you need to go to GitHub. You need to Google it. And you need to copy and paste it. Okay, so this whole thing is our lights. And copy that. And then copy and paste this. And we'll duplicate we'll duplicate it and we'll rename this to our lights. Open this up with Genie.
We'll go ahead and delete it. We'll go ahead and copy our, our lights again and paste it here. And we will save it. So that's our, our lights. So if you want to do one of these things that's asking for our lights up here. That's what you would need to do because our lights doesn't come with the um the ray lit. You can you have to go to uh GitHub and find that. And it's reading our lights because our lights is there. Let's take it out of there and see what it says. See, it's asking for our lights. So we need to give it our lights now. But this one specifically for this sample or this demo, it does not need our lights. It runs without it. Just letting you know. If you come across one where you want to run our lights, if you want to run it and it's asking for our lights, that's what you do in a situation like that. We'll hit F9. And this runs without our lights. You don't need our lights for this. Okay, so that's how you go about setting up Rayleigh in Code Blocks. Thanks for watching.